The Art of Language Unveiling Chef Derve Hello and welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're diving into a fascinating phrase, chef d'oeuvre. This term, although borrowed from French, holds a significant place in English, especially in the realms of art, literature, and creativity. Let's explore what makes this phrase so special and how you can use it in your conversations. The term, chef d'oeuvre, comes from French, where chef means head or chief, and oeuvre means work. Therefore, the literal translation is masterpiece. In English, it's used to describe a work of art, literature, music, or any other creative endeavor that is considered the most outstanding work of a particular artist or creator. Despite its French origin, chef d'oeuvre is used in English contexts, particularly when discussing high art or classical works. It connotes a sense of excellence and unparalleled achievement. For example, Leonardo da Vinci's Mona Lisa can be referred to as his chef d'oeuvre. Pronouncing chef d'oeuvre can be tricky for English speakers. It's pronounced roughly as chef d'oeuvre. Contextually, the term is often used in formal discussions or writings about art. It's less common in everyday conversation but adds a touch of elegance when used appropriately. Let's see how to use chef d'oeuvre in sentences. The newly discovered painting is considered the chef d'oeuvre of the Renaissance artist. This novel is her chef d'oeuvre, showcasing her finest writing skills. And that's a wrap on chef d'oeuvre. This beautiful term isn't just a word. It's an acknowledgement of exceptional talent and timeless works. We hope you enjoyed this linguistic journey and found it enlightening. Keep exploring and using these unique phrases to enrich your English vocabulary. Happy learning!